Yeah. Hello YouTube, welcome back. And today I want to take a look at this little fellow. It is the Sanrenmu 4113 SUX SB. And what it is is a very nice little um, if I can open it up. Slip joint knife designed to look like a key. Right, let's have a look at it then. Just look at the finish on this. Lovely, nicely polished. As I say, it's a little slip joint. There we go. Let's have a closer look at it, shall we? Here we are, starting with the blade then. And just look at the polish on this. Full flat grind. A regular fingerprint magnet too. Let's have a look at the, uh, what should we call it, the scales? Or the main body? Here we have the uh, San Renmu logo just here. And on this side we have San Renmu 4113SUX-SB. Um, I don't know if we can actually see inside here because it's a bit on the small... Oh yes we can, look at that. Hmm. What about blade centering in there? Um, yeah, look at that. That's uh, very reasonable for such a little small cheap knife. I like it. Okay, so how does it compare with a house key? Let's have a look. Yep. Same size as a house key. Uh, if you're interested, here's my uh, Night Eyes Skull Key, which is a little bit bigger. Um, here's my other key knife, as you've probably seen, and I shall put a link to this one in the description below so you can go along and have a look at it. And there we go. As you can see, the blade on the San Renmu is a little bit bigger. In fact, the, the, the knife itself is a little bit bigger. And obviously better quality, you can see that. You can see the difference in quality there. Um, and this is where we get the old tape measure in. So you guys can have a look at it. And there we are. Um, I'll see overall length on that then. Um, from where I'm looking, it looks like about 103mm long. Um, the cutting edge on the blade comes in at roughly 40 mil. Um, gear best have got the blade width down as 0.6 mil. Let's just have a look at that. Okay, well I would say that blade width is 1.8 mil thereabouts. This tiny little knife comes in a uh, thumping great big box. <laughs> It's enormous, isn't it? Such a little knife. When you consider the, uh, the the box that my other key knife came in, look. Right then. So I suppose we better find out just how sharp this little fellow is then. Okay, let's have a look then. Get the old blade out. Um, there's my paper. And a little bit of cardboard, but there's the. Uh, the Christmas menu again from work. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. And we all know my technique's not very good. Wow, look at that. Um, with the cardboard again, which we've been using recently for something else. Yep, yes, doesn't mind that at all. Look, good. I suppose we better stick with some smaller stuff like the old garden twine. It won't handle anything too big, I wouldn't have thought. There goes the garden twine then. 
a um, little bit of uh, package strapping. Oh, squeaky! <laughs> right, let's see if we can chop through that. Oh, it's struggling. Oh no, it didn't actually. It cut right through it. Blimey, what am I talking about? Look at that again. If I can hold it, this little bit. Well, yeah, look at that. <laughs> what about the biggest stuff? Well, there's not a great deal of that left now. Look, there's only a little bit left. Let's see if it squeaks. It doesn't squeak on here. Um, try cutting through it. Oh, yeah, nice. I don't know if it's worth keeping that really. Well, what about this um, horrible yellow rope here then? It's not very good stuff this is at all. Yeah, it doesn't mind that, look. That's cut through that quite nicely, look. <laughs> I'll get that back. <coughs> and Oops. Oh, goodness, everything's getting tangled up, guys. And going on the floor. I've got some... Um, this little bit of twin core wire here. I wonder if it can hack its way through a bit of that. Well, yes, it can actually. <laughs> nice. Right, so we don't need to do too many cutting tests with this. It's not bad for the size of it. It's a bit uncomfortable on the old hands to hold, but uh, yes, yeah, quite nice. Yeah, so cuts well, it's sharp. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Um, very good quality though, I've got to say, for the price. Um, at the moment on Gearbest you're looking at £2.75 or $3.50. Uh, that's where this one came from by the way, Gearbest. Very nice, I like it. Quite nice. And as I say, it's a slip joint. There's no locking involved here at all. Um, you can pop it on your key ring and you can have it with you all the time if you need those little uh, those little things you need to chop up every now and again that you get like getting into packages and parcels and stuff it's uh, it's quite nice actually little slip joint, there we go what do you think then fellas? it's quite good isn't it? quite a nice little thing alright, so that's my quick review of the uh, San Renmu 4113SUX-SB. Um, it's a whole bunch better than the uh, Pocket Shiv clone. Again, much better, much more practical. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to uh, subscribe. You can click like. Um, you can share it with your friends. Yeah, and follow me on Instagram as well. Okay then guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments on this little fellow, please leave them below and I'll uh, see if I can get round to uh, answering them. Let me know what you think. Okay, catch you later then guys. Bye.